Moving on from this, and this is the, one of the reasons why I did attempt to stream earlier on Kick and YouTube, but my computer was going crazy and jittering all over the place because it just can't handle it. So next time I'll just do a couple of streams on Kick, then I'll do one on here. But um, this is big, big news, courtesy of New York Times. It says Twitch star signs a $100 million deal with rival platform. And if you're wondering, it's XQC. So XQC one of the biggest streamers over there on Twitch has signed on for at kick for a hundred million dollar deal. The funny thing about it is that it's not even an exclusive contract. He signed a deal that's going to allow him to, to stream on fucking um, Twitch and fucking kick at the same time. So this is definitely a big deal because again, like I said, XQC is one of the biggest streamers on Twitch. So the fact that he's been able to take them, especially off the back of Twitch, basically making some really weird policies that's pissed off loads of streamers. They don't have good splits and just general, the politics around them and the fact that Rumble and Kick are kind of now blowing up. It's really showing that there's actual legitimate real competition out there. Back in the day, there was like Mixer, there was like D Live, and a few other spots that people were streaming on that weren't, you know, that were great. That maybe like you know they all had they had the whole you know free speech stuff angle going, but they weren't the greatest platforms to use, and many people weren't really flocking there to go and do their most of their streaming. But now Rumble's you know basically signing some big people, Kick is signing some big people, and now the platforms are legitimately being rivals and challenging the dominance of Twitch and maybe to some and even youtube so it's kind of great to see and me being a fucking underrepresented minority i am <laughs> i am pleading with the higher ups at kick being an unrepresented minority right i'm a fucking refugee right L let's put me as a refugee refugee immigrant <laughs> black guy i should also be getting one of these deals i don't even need a hundred million i don't even need a hundred million honestly i don't even need a hundred million I don't even need that. Just give me, you know, a couple of, a few grand a month. <laughs> Not even a couple. Give me a few grand a month and I'm fine. I don't even need a hundred million. Give me a few grand and I'm good. But anyway, the story is pretty crazy because this deal is insane because he's basically got a better deal than some fucking basketball players. Imagine that, right? So, <laughs> yeah, Uche. <laughs> AZ, the resident internet <laughs> asylum sneaker. Exactly. Yes, asylum sneaker. I remember, I'm from a war torn country. Angola is a war torn country. Loads of civil war. My mom had to basically carry me on her back to this country. <laughs> I need to fucking come on, man. Reparations, bro. Come on, reparations. <laughs> Immigrant mentality. Immigrant lives matter. Anyway, moving on. The article. One of Twitch's popular streamers said on Friday that he was joining a rival streaming platform, Kick, in a significant blow to the Amazon-owned site and a sign of the increasingly strained relationship between the content creators. Felix Lingliung. Is that his, how do you pronounce his name? Felix Lenglil. Lenglil. A Canadian known as online as XQC is signing a two-year, roughly 70 million contract with incentives that could push the total to 100 million, said his agent Ryan Mason, Ryan Morrison. Hey, yo, why is his agent telling New York Times about the figures? Is that because you want to maybe get more of a fee from your client? You want to boost your fucking reputation? Like, why is the agent that you know disclosing the fee that he got exactly <laughs> like to the fucking like me like why is he doing that that's so weird or maybe that's part of the promo or maybe kick tom to do that maybe kick want it to be known that they have money they send the agent out to kind of do their kind of work that's very bizarre because i'd be pissed off if i was xqc why are you do why are you telling people my business bro you're making me a target um Mr. Langley's deal um, is about as large as a two-year contract extension signed by Los Angeles Lakers LeBron James last year. Oh, my God. Could shake up the economics of the online entertainment world. Yo, the funny thing about it is that I'm pretty sure there are kids out there. I'm pretty sure there's kids out there who don't even watch sport anymore because I'm finding myself, um, even with my group of friends, I'm finding it very difficult to find people to go out and watch the football with, even at the pub. It's very difficult to find people in my friendship group that actually still watch football now. They've all kind of lost interest. So if that's the case with my generation, I'm pretty sure the younger generation of kids just don't even bother watching sports. They catch clips here and there on Twitter, on social media, but most of their time or consumption of content is probably YouTube and streams. Can you imagine that? I bet there's some kids out there that don't, that don't even watch TV shows. 
I don't mean on TV, but like they don't even watch like series, like I don't know, like Succession and shit. They're not watching any of that stuff. They just watch YouTube and Twitch stuff and stuff they see on fucking Instagram and TikTok. That's a weird generation to come up on. So maybe that hundred million dollar deal makes a lot of sense because you know XQC is one of the biggest guys out there. Kids fucking love him and shit. So they, you know, he they consume all his content. Um, he, he streams, you know, a lot during the week. If I'm not mistaken, like sometimes six times a week, or sometimes like for like you know, ten plus hours or whatnot. So it does make a lot of sense why they're signing him for that much. Because if you look at it just on the surface level, it seems a lot. But when you analyze it a bit more, it's not that much really. If the kids are only watching him week in week out, you know what I mean. So it's pretty, 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 pretty mad. Um, it continues. This is more than a. This is more than the most successful professional athletes and mega stars, says Mr. Morrison, his agent. This is one of the big highest deals in entertainment period. Mr. Langley, twenty seven. Rice, twenty seven. Why do I think he was younger than that? I'm surprised. SQC is twenty seven. I legitimately thought he was at twenty three. He's got that weird speech impediment thing that he does, isn't it? Where he's like, like where he's rushing. I don't know if that's a speech impediment or if that's an accent, like what he does, but. It takes a while to get used to. It's actually hard to get used to. I don't really understand what he's fucking saying half of the time. Um, it's better when he's having an interview. He kind of slows down when he's speaking to other people. But when it's just him, it's just it's like, whoa, 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 buddy, buddy. But again, I can't say shit because he's got $100 million in his back pocket. So he's definitely winning. Um, Mr. XQC27 chats with his fans, hosts reality shows, and broadcasts himself playing video games. He has become a star in the live streaming world with nearly 12 million followers and the ability to attract tens of thousands of viewers at any given time by some metrics. He is the most popular Twitch streamer. Wow. I did not know that. I did not know that. Who did I assume was a Twitch streamer? I always assumed someone like a Pokemane was the biggest. I never knew it was, would be a dude. I'm actually surprised, to be fair. It continues. Kick has allowed me to try and do things I haven't been able to do before. I'm extremely excited to take this opportunity and maximize it into a new creative and fresh ideas over the coming years. Top live stream personalities can earn millions of dollars and attract communities of loyal viewers by broadcasting their content, but a number of them have left Twitch in recent years, attracted by the lucrative deals on other platforms like YouTube. And some streamers have complained that Twitch has become less responsive to its online community and more focused on profitability than keeping streamers happy. I'm actually surprised that like, what the fuck is going on with Twitch? I know they've got different politics and they're very left leaning, but I'm really surprised of how much they've fumbled the fumbled, you know, fumbled the bag of fumbled the ball. Because for some reason, for the longest time, they really, really, um, you know, were against giving particular streamers like exclusive deals. They didn't want to give anybody contracts or deals, maybe because they felt like they had enough of a conveyor belt of up and coming streamers come you know on their site wanting to be affiliated wanting to be partnered that it didn't matter if a kai saying that went somewhere else because you know you're going to have another one coming up in a few years but i think nowadays with the competition at hand there's no guarantee that that kid who's like 12 now and streaming to one person is going to stay on twitch they might get drawn by kick now and seeing all the money and stuff and all the fucking hype and whatnot and start going on there. So they're kind of taking their position for granted, I feel like. They are really being complacent. And it's a real shame because for the longest time, Twitch was the place to be if you went into live stream. Even YouTube only recently kind of fixed up the live streaming side of things. And even now, it's not maybe as great of an experience as it may be on Twitch for some people. Um, you know, it's not really a place for me, but I know some people prefer to watch live stream on Twitch. So it's weird that somehow Twitch has even allowed YouTube to catch up to them in some cases, which is really strange because for the longest time, they were so far ahead of them when it comes to live streaming. So if they really don't pay attention and make the necessary changes, Kick could eventually overtake them. For me personally, I would prefer to use Kick over like a Rumble because I feel like Kick at least has, you know, a decent um, looking UI or design. I feel like Rumble just looks too butters. Rumble looks too Republican for me, if that makes too much sense. It looks a little bit too right wingy, right? Right wing guys don't really have good like taste. They don't really have a good like art direction. It always looks a little bit janky. At least with Kick, it kind of looks a little bit cool. You know what I mean? It kind of similar to fucking um, what's it called? Similar to Twitch and its appeal and its kind of sheen and whatnot. So I really do like what they're doing on there. Speaking of Kick, actually, make sure you follow me over there on Kick 
at kick.com forward slash Agostino. Tune in over there. I'll be doing some exclusive kick only streams on there. And hopefully they'll recognize an unrepresented character like myself. They'll see a struggling young black male from a war-torn country, a refugee, an immigrant, legally blind, dyslexic, all that sort of stuff, right? Give me all of it, all the labels, right? They'll see me and they'll be like, you know what? Let's give this guy a deal. Let's give this guy a deal. That would be absolutely amazing. But for the time being, check me out on kick.com forward slash Agostino Zinger, all one word, kick.com forward slash Agostino Zinger for more streams of me on there. Hopefully, hopefully I can get my fucking you know, $1 million deal, right? <laughs> Give me a $1 million. If, if I get a $1 million deal, best believe I'm going to be telling everybody in media that I got 10 grand. I'm not, I'm not fucking declaring that shit. Fuck off. I'm going to just lie and say I got a 10 grand deal. It's a 10 grand deal. I'm happy to provide for my family and buy myself a couple of Rick Owens jackets. You know the vibes. You know the vibes. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> what people saying here, um, People say I need to do gambling streams. That's not going to happen. I'm not really a gambling stream type of guy, to be fair. I don't actually gamble in real life, so a stream's not going to actually work for me. Um, but yeah, I understand what you mean, man. Exactly, yeah. Could never catch him on Rumble. Exactly. <laughs> Imagine I turn into a gambling guy. I'm just there doing slots and shit. Like, fuck! I'm doing slots. I start promoting those fucking... What's that game that everyone promotes as a, as a sponsor? What's that shitty game? Oh man, it's like a mobile game. Maybe I'll start, I'll start doing that stuff. I'll start doing join, use my code NordVPN. <laughs> use my code Taz <laughs> for five percent off a NordVPN. <laughs> open your stake, open your stake account. You know what I mean? You join me on my stake. Get, get, get a free stake account. Get five pound in your opening stake account. Yes, yeah, yeah. Raid. There we go. Raid. Is that a mega fan? Yeah. <laughs> I'll start promoting Raid. It'll be absolutely hilarious, mate. Imagine I'll start promoting Raid. I sell out fully. Fully, 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 fully sell out. I can't wait for that time. On to 